Hi, yeah, I'm Simone Radley from England and Nails, and in this video, we're just going to be having a little bit of a play with the new Spellbound colours. Well, some of them at least. Um, I don't really know what we're going to do, but we're going to do something so we can have a look. So I thought we'd just do a video with some of the new Spellbound colours. So I've got I197, that is Pixie Dust, I198, which is Glitter Wizard, and I196, oh I've done them in the wrong order, aren't I? Never mind. I196, which is Fairy Wings. So I've not planned what we're going to do, I just thought we would have a look at these colours, see how they work and see what we can come up with. Just going to have a bit of fun because why the hell not? So I've got two fit tips here that I have buffed already, so I've removed the shine. And I'm going to start with this one with a coat of I-161 I think. I thought doing something black would be quite nice um, because I think a black base will probably really show off the glitter well. Um, but obviously I'm aware that it might look a bit, not, not Christmassy but like maybe a bit wintery and obviously now we're coming to the end of winter so so i've done one count i'm going to pop that into cure for 60 seconds while that's curing i think i'm going to do this one in a lighter color something that's good for coming into the spring got loads of colours on my desk. Honestly, it's such a mess. I'm going to use I4, I think, which is bubblegum, bu I can't say that, bubblegum pink. <laughs> I'm going to put my teeth in. So I'm going to do a coat of this. I'm going to pop that into cure. And I'm going to drag out the black one that I've just painted. So what to do? I think let's get my silicone pad out. I'm just gonna clean it with a bit of green cleaner because it's got a bit of no white top coat on there or matte or something. <laughs> something it's got on there. I always clean them as well before I put anything on them anyway because I get all sorts of fluff and dust and stuff on them. Actually, now that's done, I'm going to just do a second coat of this four and then we can get on with this black one and see what we're going to do. So I'm going to stick that into cure. And now, back to this one. So, I'm going to decant my colours out, I think. So I'm going to do... Oh, I love these colours so much. I'm going to put some 196. Oh, they're so amazing, honestly. I'm going to move that so I can put that in and you can see. They're just, like, packed full of glitter, these are. Love them. <gasps> this one might be my favourite, you know. 197. Yeah, I love that one. It's like rose gold, but it's pink. I don't know, yeah. It's like a pink rose gold. And this one is, oh, I'll tell you what, though, I love that one as well. That one's lighter, that's more like a champagne rose gold. Yeah, I think 197 could be my favourite, just because it's a bit more pink. And I do love pink stuff, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to do another coat of I-161. But I think I'm going to leave it wet. I mean, I'm not going to lie, this may not work out at all, guys. We might look at it afterwards and think, well, what on earth has happened there? But... We're going to give it a bash. So I'm going to leave this layer wet. And I'm going to use my Vice Versa brush. 
And I'm just going to pick up some of these colours and see what happens. I'm just um, blobbing it, kind of bouncing my brush as I go along. So it kind of intermingles a bit with the black, with it being wet. I'm going to pick up the next one and do the same. Bounce my brush. Oh yeah, it looks really nice actually. Yes. Yeah, definitely probably something for um, winter or like New Year or something like that. But with the black underneath anyway. But I do love it and it's nice just to see, you know, what the, what the colours look like, how they work. I'm going to add in a bit more gold on this side. Again, I'm just bouncing it, bouncing it in. Oh yeah. Love it. So I'm going to pop that into Cure for 60 seconds and now we've got our pink tip I am going to just decant a bit of fresh of these glitter colours because because I've bounced into that wet black layer on that nail it's um they've got bits of black in them and I don't necessarily want that on here And on this one, I've been thinking whilst I was doing that other black one, I think I'm going to do just like one of those abstracty swooshy type things that are still really popular. Abstract stuff is still really popular and it's really good to do because it's like so easy. <laughs> so some other colours, I think I'm going to put in a lighter pink, so I'm going to put in... I-186 and I think I might even put a bit of white in why not so I'm gonna put 156 but yeah these sorts of designs are so so easy so like um, for you know salon nails they're so quick and easy to do these abstract sort of designs because there's no right or wrong and they're just kind of quite messy so I'm going to use a Cat 2 brush for this. It's a little bit fluffy woofy on the end. I've obviously put it in something that I shouldn't have. Story of my blooming life that. But it's really good for, for this sort of design. That's what you want. A brush is a bit old and it's gone a little bit fluffy woofy. So I'm going to pick up some of this I-186 which is Ambos Mundus start at the top and I'm just gonna do a swoosh with my brush dead easy and then I'm gonna pick up the white and do a swoosh and I think I might just leave it with two swooshes I'm gonna do all my swooshes from the top yeah so I'm gonna pop that into flash cure oh I didn't call it, I didn't catch it, panic over. I'm going to put it into flash cure. Now it's done, I'm going to do the same swooshes but with these glitter colours. So I'm dabbing at the top first and just swooshing it down. I'm dabbing it at the top to make sure it's actually got some glitter at the top and I don't just swoosh it all away. I'm going to dip into the next one. I'm going to, I'm sort of pillowing it at the top, bobbing it, and then I'm going to swoosh it. Oh, yes. These designs are always, yeah, sort of best built up in layers, really. And I'm going to do this side and swoosh it. So you can see there, we've got our swooshy colours. I'm going to put that into Cure. I'm going to put that in for a full Cure and then I'm going to do like another layer on it as well. 
So this is the black one that we just did before and it looks fantastic. So something like this, um, definitely with these colours, like I said before, good for winter, new year, that sort of thing. So like for next year, that'll be so quick and easy to do, it'll be ace. And I'm wondering what it would look like matte. Let's try it. It might not look as good because, I mean, glitter obviously does look amazing, shiny. So it might not look as good, but you don't know until you try. And then I'm going to pop that into Cure for 60 seconds. So now we've got our spring, summer swooshy design. I'm going to add a little bit more to this because we've kind of, we need to build up these layers a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more gold on this bit here first. And give it a bit of a swoosh. And this side I just want to put a little bit more of that sort of pinky rose gold one. Just to make sure it's got enough there and give it a bit of a swoosh. Now I'm going to pop that in to cure and grab this. Ooh! So you can see that that has totally changed it by doing that matte top coat, it's totally transformed it. It looks like, yeah, totally different. I love that. That's great. So for me, the matte on that glitter, for me, the matte on that glitter is a winner. Winner, winner, glitter dinner. I like that. It kind of looks, I don't know, it just looks totally different. So that is interesting because now using that matte would look good probably in a different design. Yes, that's an in interesting one. I like it. So I'm going to put that to one side. The pink one that we've got, I just want to add in a bit more of our Amboss Mundos colour here because it kind of got a little bit swallowed up. So we're doing our layers and then our white definitely got a little bit swallowed up. Make sure your white's not too thick because you don't want it to wrinkle up in the lamp. And now I'm going to pop that into cure. I'm going to give it a full cure for 60 seconds. So now that's cured, I've just been looking at it, thinking, do I want to leave it as it is or do I want to do something else? So obviously, you can leave your swooshy design as it is because it looks really cute like that. But I'm going to just add a little bit of something else. So that is the design so far, so it does look really nice, just, yeah, just a typical sort of abstract um, design really, but those glitter polishes are really good for it and it makes it really easy, so you don't have to like, if you want to get a glitter swoosh, you don't have to mi be mixing glitter with top coat or anything like that, it just makes it really easy. But I want to just add a little bit of something else. So I'm going to use some black. So I've got I-161 and my dotting tool. And I'm just going to put some dots on this white swoosh. Just some different size dots. Yeah, just give it like an extra abstract element. So I'm going to pop that into Cure and then we're going to top coat it. Now that has come out of the lamp and it's looking really good. So I'm going to top coat it. This one's going to stay shiny. So I'm going to use the ultimate no white top coat on here. And then pop it into cure for 60 seconds. Now that's cured. That is what it looks like. And I love that. So easy. So easy, so quick, and those glitter colours just look really good with it. 
So that is our two, just having fun playing about with the new collection. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our new videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.